Hi guys, how you doing? Hope everybody's doing well. This is Assad again and this uh, on another video which I'm gonna talk about what's the importance about feedback. If you guys you wanna keep 100% positive feedback in your eBay store, remember all the time. You've got two points to remember. One, send feedback as soon as the product sold. Very important. The second steps, Sorry, the second step is send an email. Send a thank you email to the buyer who purchased your product. Very important. So those steps are very important to keep your store up to date with 100% positive feedback because eBay and customers like when sellers send emails, thank you emails to their customers and on the same time send feedbacks to their customers because customers like it. We are, as, uh, as a customer, we like to be thanked. If somebody purchased from me, if me purchased something from somebody and then, and then he told me, uh, like, oh, thank you very much, or, you know, like, like he thanks me that I purchased something, you know, like, thank you very much for purchasing that, it makes us feel good, you know. So it's all about feelings, you know, we, we sell feelings, we sell uh, greatness, we don't sell product. Products are there, there are tons of drop shippers are out there, like, millions, if I might be wrong, but... There are tons of drop shippers. So to be different than others, you have to take those steps in consideration. There are so many steps. Well, I might share them later on on my, my channel. But remember, just be nice to your clients. Send them a thank you email. That means a lot. So these are two steps that you guys you have to, you have to take in consideration in order, in order to keep your star uh, uh, as much as you can, 100%. I know that it's very difficult to, to, to be a hundred percent, but it can be a hundred percent. As long as you do the right job, a great customer service, you can get a hundred percent positive feedback, all right? So I repeat, one is send a thank you email to your buyer, two, send feedback, all right? So I'll, I'll, I won't take this, long, uh, this video for long. I'm gonna take you to my screen and show you how to do that. Cool, so we are in my screen now. So you can see there's a tons of feedbacks here that I've given some of them, that like this one, it's canceled, I didn't give the feedback. So uh, here, I'm gonna choose last last order. So I'm gonna just click here, you can see here, the feedback. <coughs> here, I'm gonna choose anything, 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 it depends. And it depends of, of the, the, the conversation that I had with the customer. If I did have any conversation with him, I mean, normally you don't have a conversation when you, you, as soon as the order it's it's done. But what do you do? You just choose whatever you want. I normally choose to thank you for any and uh, for for an easy pleasant to, to, transaction, uh, excellent buyer A plus. But sometimes I just change and, and I said. Good buyer, pump payment, value customer, highly recommended. Click here and just leave feedback. That's all what it takes. That is all what it takes. And then it's done. Okay. So uh, remember, those steps are very important. And the step number two, as, well, uh, as I was mentioning earlier, I'm going to mention it in another video. So I'm going to take you for uh, three steps, three emails that you need to, to send to your buyer. Um, very important. You see, it doesn't take that much doesn't take that much, but it means a lot to customers, all right? But thank you very much for watching, and see you in another video. See you when I see you. Peace out.